In the shallow waters of the South China Sea, colossal structures rise from the depths, defying nature and extending the reach of nations. These are the artificial islands, humanity's latest canvases where the ocean is converted into terra firma. Vast expanses of ocean are being transformed as countries look towards the sea for the future of urban expansion, addressing the pressing issue of land scarcity faced by thriving metropolises worldwide. This monumental endeavor, constructing artificial islands to expand urban territories, not only symbolizes human ingenuity, but also opens a Pandora's box of environmental, geopolitical, and ethical questions. We embark on a journey to understand this audacious attempt at expansion, going beyond the confines of the shore to provide new ground for humanity's ever-growing needs. What drives nations to invest billions into these mammoth projects? And is this the inevitable future of city expansion? From the engineering marvels that facilitate the rise of these artificial islands to the socio-political implications they carry, this exploration will delve deep into the very fabric of these human-made wonders. At the heart of artificial island construction is the field of marine engineering, an industry that has made leaps and bounds in technological advancement. Countries like the Netherlands, with a history of battling the sea, have championed this initiative through projects like the Palm Islands and the world in Dubai. These are more than just feats of engineering. They are statements of ambition and capability, showcasing how nations can wield technology to expand beyond their natural borders. Building artificial islands is no simple task. It involves processes like land reclamation where millions of cubic meters of sand and rock are dredged from the ocean bed and piled to create new land masses. The scale of these projects is staggering. Dubai's Palm Jumeirah alone required over 150 million cubic meters of sand, but the process of creating an island is more than just piling sand. It requires meticulous planning and precision engineering to ensure these structures can withstand natural disasters, support infrastructures like buildings and roads, and sustain human life. As we venture into the intricacies of these constructions, we examine the complex systems in place that allow for sustainability and habitability. From cutting-edge seawalls and advanced water treatment facilities, to innovative transportation systems, artificial islands are a testament to human innovation. But innovation does not come without its price. The construction of these islands has profound impacts on marine ecosystems, often disrupting local wildlife habitats and altering coastal processes. The geopolitics of artificial island construction is as complex as the engineering behind it. Territorial disputes in regions like the South China Sea underscore the strategic importance these man-made landforms have on a global scale. They are not merely urban expansions but also political tools, extending the influence of a nation into international waters, sometimes leading to contentious disputes. We continue our exploration with a look at the economic implications of these structures. Artificial islands can be hubs of commerce and luxury living, attracting investment and tourism, but they can also be seen as the epitome of exclusivity, accessible only to the world's most affluent raising questions about equality and urban planning priorities. As these islands evolve, they become microcosms of society, complete with residential areas, commercial complexes, and recreational facilities. Yet, this brings forth a discussion on the social fabric that forms when humans populate an entirely new, manufactured environment. How do artificial islands shape the identity and community of their inhabitants? What are the cultural impacts of living on land that did not exist a generation ago? Turning our attention to the future, we consider the potential of artificial islands as part of the solution to rising sea levels due to climate change. Could these man-made landmasses be safe havens for populations displaced by the encroaching tide? This notion is tantalizing, presenting a dichotomy where the same technology that disrupts marine environments could also be humanity's arc in the face of global warming. Addressing sustainability, the narrative takes a pivot to explore the innovations being implemented to make artificial islands more eco-friendly. Architects and urban planners are experimenting with renewable energy sources, green spaces, and self-sustaining designs to mitigate the environmental impact of these structures. Pioneering projects are aiming to create carbon-neutral or even carbon-negative islands, which could redefine our understanding of sustainable living. 
Throughout our examination, we have witnessed the monumental scale, the technological prowess, and the diverse implications that come with building. Artificial islands for expanding urban territories. From their conceptualization as solutions to land scarcity, to their role in international politics, and their evolving identity as centers of innovation and sustainability, artificial islands are a testament to human resilience and adaptability. In conclusion, while the construction of artificial islands for urban expansion reflects our most extraordinary attempts at shaping the environment to our needs, it also reminds us of our responsibilities towards the ecosystems we alter and the communities we build. As these islands rise from the waters, they not only redefine coastlines, but also our relationship with the planet. We are left with a powerful testament to human ingenuity, a cautionary tale of environmental stewardship, and a glimpse into the future of urban development in a world where land is both a scarce and a crafted commodity.